See it right here? Yeah. Okay, this cocoon, this uh, caterpillar just finally started changing into a cocoon. Or, I mean, a chrysalis. It's in the pulsating. I missed the very first part of it, but this is the process of it metamorphizing the first metamorphosis from a caterpillar to a chrysalis. This just started a couple of minutes ago because I left the room for about two minutes and it came back in. It was already started. The caterpillar was suspended, as you can see by that little, looks like a little web, for over a day, just hanging there, before it started this process. It's just something to see it. Look at that. Yeah, I never, I didn't realize that's the way they did it. It's going to be less than seven minutes, the other one. At the very end, it'll, this will be knocked off. And Look at that, you can see it coming from the top down through the body. Yes. And at the end, that little skin will be just charged. I'd like to know what's going on in there. <laughs> Looks violent. It is violent. Boop! See the part just fell off. The uh, I guess the skin or external part of it was uh, trashed. Hmm. I brought about 10 or 15 of these inside. I had 50 on one parsley plant, and I knew that it couldn't support them, so I bought this butterfly house and am raising them in the butterfly house. It'll take uh, 10 to 14 days for it to metamorphize and to a butterfly. Hmm. It's almost complete. It will get smooth. All those sectioned areas will go away and it will get um, hardened. There is the butterfly house. It's about two feet tall, which is a nice size. still some caterpillars wandering around in there. I've been feeding them parsley and there's some on the other side that have already made chrysalises. Some of the chrysalises are brown and some are green. And I don't know what would make the difference. 
let's see. Back to this one. I'm going to show one that is already complete over here that's green. Excuse me a minute while I stand and put it in my hand. Here's one that's older. Let's see how smooth it is and all those ridges are gone. Here's one that's just fixing to hook himself up to a spot. And he will suspend himself if I can find it holding it. Where is that? There's another one that's brown. I don't know why they would be a different color. There's the one on the left, as you can see, is in that position, sort of like a question mark, where they suspend themselves before making. And the other one is fixing to hook himself and be, suspend himself. They anchor themselves to the branch. There's one here that's hanging. Anyway, that's my butterfly habitat. It's a fun adventure. Hope you enjoyed it.